adding another feature to this uh, crazy feature-rich browser? I don't know. Hey guys, my name is Magnus. I'm 24 years old. I work as a nurse and a part-time freelancer photographer. I've been using browsers since uh, we got broadband internet at home, like everybody else in the beginning, Internet Explorer. And when I got my own computer, I started using Firefox. And then a couple of years later, I got my first MacBook. And since then I've been using Safari. Qualities I'm looking for in a browser is that it should be it should be fast. It should be safe. I sh I need to decide what I want to give to the websites I'm visiting, like the cookies and trackers and everything like that. And I needed to manage my passwords for me because I can't do that myself. And I also like it when it syncs up to my other devices like my laptop and my phone, other computers. So. I can find my passwords if I'm another way place or yeah. It's I, I like when these things speaks together. I like the first time I heard about Vivelli browser was this week actually. So I have not tried it. I've heard about Opera, but um, I've never used Vivaldi browser until today. So um, now I show you my first time using Vivaldi. I just opened my Safari in a random page that I probably would use and just to see some of the differences and how I would use Vivaldi. So uh, this is actually a quite clean tab uh, window. I usually have multiple of these to try and organize a bit and then like once a week I try to close some tabs. So I have Vivaldi open here and um, some of the same tabs here. So let's see here in Vivaldi. This is uh, the, f I actually just installed it and opened it. Uh, so this is the first pages that I chose. I like that this one is optimized for the M1. Um, since I'm, I'm working as a photographer, I need a bit a uh, more powerful computer than the M1, so I'm waiting on the M1X or whatever it's going to be called, but I'm guessing Vivaldi is going to be optimized for that as well, so that I like. That's, I mean, Safari would of course be optimized for the new chip when that comes out, but uh, I like that Vivaldi is on top of the game here and ready. Another thing I saw, I was just browsing through the, um, the settings. I saw there's a huge list of <laughs> languages here, uh, so, uh, since I live in Norway, I probably would use it in Norwegian. But I also saw this privacy thing. Uh, let's see, privacy. And um, it's super easy here to block trackers, block ads, no blocking, block everything. Or you can even like never accept cookies and block everything always. So I have noticed that some sites are a bit, and it says here as well uh, that some, some sites might not work as good when you block everything. But I like that you can choose really easy from just the settings that you don't need to add, take in another plugin or something like that. So I like that. Okay, say I need to buy a new lens or a new camera then I probably have like maybe five or 10 tabs. Watching a review, checking prices, uh, checking availability in different stores near me or online. Maybe I'm, I'm renting out my car, like a community rental thing. And then I need to follow up on those queues and check the uh, toll uh, road taxes. That's one project. And since I work as a photographer, I have to send out bills to my customers and create queues or uh, follow up on deals and while I'm doing that I might watch some YouTube to stay entertained. Trying today Valley browser for the first time. I think it's a good browser. Uh, I could see myself using this. There is a lot of customizable things here uh, so you probably have to put up some time to just dial in your settings get to know the browser and um, I think when there is a iOS app that I can use this on my phone as well to sync the tabs together uh, I might uh, actually jump on board with the Valley because uh, this is promising it is
adding another feature to this uh, crazy feature-rich browser. I don't know. Uh, of course, uh, adding an iOS app so I can have my computer browser talk with my phone browser. That would be a, a huge deal for me. Other than that, I, uh, I think I have to spend a couple hours getting to know the features uh, before I can uh, ask for any new ones. If I would be able to switch to Vivaldi, maybe not today, uh, but when the iOS app is out, I will definitely consider it.